is equal to zero, this is the top left image, and here we have no real kind of association between the x variable and the y variable. So if we think about being anywhere along the x-axis, this wouldn't really give us any useful information as to where we would fall along the y-axis. So it's just this big blob and there's not really any kind of linear uh, dependence between the two. And then as we move along to the right, we see that the correlation gets stronger and stronger. And eventually in the bottom right panel, we have a correlation of one. And a correlation of one, that's the strongest uh, positive that's the strongest positive correlation that you can experience. So a correlation is going to lie between negative one and one. So we're going to talk about negatives in a second. But for a positive correlation equal to one, what this means is that there is a perfectly linear relationship between the x and the y var uh, variables. So what this means is, is, is that if you move anywhere along the x-axis, if I tell you exactly where I want to be along the x-axis, you can tell me exactly what my y value is going to be. You know it's going to be exactly on this line. So that's kind of how we think about correlation. So that's a correlation of 1. The other extreme situation you can have is a correlation of negative 1. So all of these panels here show positive correlations. But similarly, we can think about negative correlations. And if we had a correlation equal to negative 1, that's the most extreme negative case, we would have similarly a line, but it would be its slope would be negative, so it would be moving in the opposite way, which means that as x increases, y would be going down. It would be decreasing, so it would be a, a line going downwards. Okay. Um, now, uh, we're going to show a bit of an example, a correlation example, but before we get into the example, let's talk about data for a second. So here we have a data set, um, and it's in a specific type of format and we refer to that as a rectangular format, a rectangular data. This is basically what you want your data to look like. So I know when you're, um, yeah, oh, uh, this is, sorry, this is just a reminder. This is just a reminder that it got on the side. Um, just a reminder to everyone that we are recording this session, so everyone who recently joined. Um, anyhow, so rectangular data fits in a rectangle where every row represents a sampled unit or can be referred to as an observation and every column corresponds to some kind of characteristic you measured on this unit or a variable so something you've observed on that unit this is what you want your data to look like you want it to be structured in this way this is clean neat data and I know that a lot of the time when data is collected it doesn't always necessarily end up looking like this but ideally if you're using any kind of statistical software to later analyze your data set you want it to be looking like this at the end of the day.